to admit, I was a little skeptical at first. I've never done it before. But after a little two minute simple online registration and 40 bucks, <laughs> I was certified to be one of the best officiants in California has to offer. So if you're interested, business, business cards are on the way. Right? <laughs> All jokes aside, the fact that you're here today is a testament to the amazing amount of love and support they have. Many of you have given them much happiness and guidance throughout the various stages of their lives. They would like to sincerely thank you for all being here to celebrate their big day. I've also been asked by Nicholas and Kelly to thank their parents for the wonderful lives they have given them, for the hard work and guidance they have provided, for their everlasting love, support, and encouragement. It is from them that they have learned the true meaning of love, friendship, and family. Marriage is a promise between two people who love each other and trust in that love, who honor each other as individuals, and who choose to spend the rest of their lives together. Remember that in every marriage, there are good, good times and bad, times of joy and times of sorrow. Marriage is a journey. It's a time of adventure and excitement enhanced by that love, trust, dedication, and faith you share in one another. May the promises you made to one another today be lived out to the end of your lives. Tomorrow can bring the greatest of joys, but today is the day it all begins. So Nick, a word of advice. Remember to always listen to Kelly, because according to Kelly, she's always right. <laughs> and Kelly, remember to always tell Nick he has big, very big muscles. He's a sexy man and let him go to the gym. <laughs> so this ceremony is a symbol of how far you have come this past few years. It's a symbol of the promises you made to each other to continue growing stronger and as individuals and partners. Nick, I want you to face Kelly and hold her hands. The bride and groom have chosen to write their own vows. Nick, you may begin with announcing your vows. Testing, testing. <laughs> We're going to start. Before I dive deep into this, I want to first of all thank you for taking a chance on me. Even though the first night we met, I look like I might have been into the opposite sex. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you showed me a love that I never could imagine. Over the past few years, you've become my best friend, my mentor, my challenge, but also a love mother. I remember when we first met, we had such a fun and spontaneous night. What was stuck out to me most was your honesty. You told me about your family, you told me about your amazing and incredible son, Jada. And when I finally had the chance to meet them, I saw the unconditional love that all of you have for each other. You made me feel welcome. Everyone in your family made me feel welcome. They made me feel at home. There were many moments when I felt like I was falling for you. I fell in love with you when you opened me up to this world that I didn't know existed. I fell in love with you when you inspired me to develop, develop a stronger bond with my mother and father. I fell in love with you when you gave birth to our beautiful daughter, Arya. I fell in love with you when I saw you caring for Jaden when he was sick and you know, just watching you raise him was amazing. I've fallen so deeply in love watching the incredible job you're doing of raising our children. I'll never stop falling in love with you, and I'll never stop loving you. You're genuine and honest, fun and adventurous, sweet and compassionate. You're feisty as hell, too. <laughs> I love you for that, too, because 
you know, keep me on my toes. So. <laughs> you embody everything I could ever want in a woman. I'm so lucky to have you. You're my best friend, and I can't wait to continue our crazy little adventure together. Kevin, you may now announce your best. Next, if someone would have told me that I'd find my future husband in a San Francisco nightclub wearing a glow-in-the-dark Henley that was two sizes too small <laughs> and a comb-over so perfect it was questionable, I would have looked at them like they were crazy and said, you must not know me. But life has its way of throwing you curveballs. And I was just lucky enough to catch this. Since I've met you, you've shown not only me, but Jaden as well. A love I've never thought we'd find. The way you accept him as your own has had such a big impact on both of our lives. And I am now and forever grateful. This journey with you as my best friend, fiance, father of our children, and now almost husband, has been nothing short of amazing. And I thank God for bringing you into my life. As your wife, I can't promise that I'll never nag at you for constantly leaving the toilet seat up, <laughs> that it won't drive me crazy when half of the things you bring back from the store are wrong, <laughs> or that your extreme short-term memory won't frustrate me. However, I do promise to never take you for granted, to accept you for who you are, to be your support in times when it's needed, to always give you my all, and not just what's left after a busy day, to always love you more than the day before. And remember that in those moments where the negative may outweigh the positive, you are the one for me. You're the reason I wake up with a smile on my face. The reason I strive to be a better person. The reason why I am completely and utterly appreciative of the life that I have. And ultimately, the reason I know my purpose in life. With my whole heart, for my whole life, I vow to respect, trust, and love you unconditionally, to be the wife that you deserve, and the best mommy to Aria and Jaden. I love you most of all. Look at Kelly and hold her hands. Do you, Nicholas, take Kelly to be your lawfully wedded wife, promising to love and cherish through joy and sorrow, sickness and health, and whatever challenges you may face for as long as you both shall live? Do you, Kelly, take Nicholas to be your lawfully wedded husband, promising to love and cherish through joy and sorrow, sickness and health, and whatever challenges you may face for as long as you both shall live? Ke Kelly and Nicholas will now exchange rings to symbolize their commitment to one another. Best man and matron of honor, please provide the rings. Nicholas, as you place this ring on Kelly's finger, I want you to repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love for today and tomorrow and all days to come. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. And know my love is present even when I'm not. Kelly, as you place this ring on Nick's finger, I want you to repeat after me. I give you this ring, I give you this ring as a symbol of our love for today and tomorrow and all days to come. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day 
And know my love is present. And know my love is present. Even when I'm not. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Barlamy. Yeah.